and my prayer for all of us today is that we will be driven by, by what God has uniquely instilled in every one of us to do. I want you to read out loud with me Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Ephesians 2 verse 10 here in the sanctuary there in worship 2. Let's read it out loud together. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. People generally live at one of three levels. The first level is what we call the survival mode. A lot of people are just getting by in life. They're just surviving. In fact, they're, they're probably not living at all. They're, they're, they're merely existing. The, the second tier of living is the success level. That seems to be the level where people want to want to live it's it's where folks are, are making a decent living uh, they've got two kids two cars and a, and a house with a two-car garage and and it's so packed full of stuff they can't get those two cars in that two-car garage can I get a witness <laughs> here's the third level this is the level I believe that God wants us to live at it's the significance level God wants us to live in a place where we recognize that what Ephesians 2.10 is, says to us is correct, that we are indeed God's handiwork, that we're not here by a mistake, and they've discovered what God has prepared and equipped them to do with their life. Uh, in the Bible, we have all kinds of examples of men and women who lived at the significance level. David was one of them. Look at Acts chapter 13, verse 36. It simply says that David served God's purposes in his own time, and then he died. <laughs> That'd make a great headstone, wouldn't it? I mean, how, how, you can't get any better than that. He served God's purpose. He did what God placed him on this planet to do, and then he died. No matter what kind of work you're doing, when you discover what the signature strengths that God has, has equipped you with and, and put deep within your soul you too can begin living at the significance level. Here's the benefits. Number one, first of all, when we live at the significance level, it will reduce our frustration. James said in James 1.8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. But when you, when you find out what your signature strengths are in life, you, you can begin to hone in. You're not so frustrated by all the other options. Second, living at the significance level will increase motivation. Once you discover why God put you on this planet, you will have a reason to get out of bed in the morning. You see, the secret of energy and enthusiasm is knowing where you're going. Listen, God has a preferred future for you. Look at what he says in Jeremiah 29, 11. He says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. That's God's preferred future for your life, young people. Third, living at the level of significance will cultivate better concentration. When you learn to focus on what God has put you on this earth to do, your life will be more effective. Paul said in Philippians 3.13, By no means do I count myself an expert in all of this, but what? I've got my eye on the goal. Too often we, work, we get our eyes off of the goal. We get our eyes off of the signature strengths that God has equipped us and created us to be and do. And we start worrying about all the things we're not good at. Don't you do that? You do that. You worry about, well, I'm not good at this and, and I, don't, I can't do it. And so you start focusing on all the things that you're not good at and you fail to do what God put you on this earth to do. So keep your eye on the goal. Fourth, living at the significance level will attract cooperation. People will want to help you. They'll want you to succeed. Proverbs eleven twenty seven 27 says, if your goals are good, you will be respected. When you find out what it is that God's put you on this planet to do, there's going to be people that will come alongside you and help you do it. And, and thank God for the church. What a beautiful place we have here to help people develop and grow and reach their potential in life. Finally, finally, living at the significance level will prepare us for God's evaluation. 
<laughs> God has, you see, made an investment in you. He has gifted you with skills, abilities, talents, signature strengths that are unique to you. And like any good investor, even God expects a return on his investment. And, and it says in Romans 14, 12, listen to this, there's going to be an audit on your life. <laughs> Romans 14, 12, each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. And when that day comes, I want to hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. Amen.